From a teenager in Oklahoma who couldn't make it up the driveway, and a dedicated father who thought a running start was his best option, to a frozen lake in Wisconsin that swallowed this pickup truck, and a death-defying bike race in France that had everyone holding their breath, here are some of the best moments of People vs. Ice caught on camera. Most Texans aren't used to snow, so when an ice storm passed through Dallas in February of 2022, nobody was surprised when people started slipping and sliding all over the place. In fact, the Dallas police responded to about 200 traffic accidents over two days of icy conditions. Luckily, the folks in this next clip had already made it home. The hard part was making it up the driveway with bags full of groceries. Help me! The husband reached their garage while his wife was stuck near the car. You might be wondering why she doesn't just walk up the side. Well, their entire yard is frozen over. That's not soft snow, it's pure ice. No matter how hard she tries, she can't get any traction. The husband returns to find his wife still struggling. Since he can't carry her up the driveway, he turns to plan B. After three slippery minutes, our couple finally makes it up into the garage. We imagine they weren't the only people in Dallas struggling that day. Indianola is a small city in southern Iowa. It's home to about 16,000 people and a father who's got the internet divided. Some people think he's hysterical. Others think he's the worst dad of all time. It was a chilly February day in 2014. Alan arrived at Indianola Middle School to pick his daughter up. That's when he noticed a slick part of the sidewalk that was claiming victim after victim. So he did what any other dad with a sense of humor would do. He pulled out his phone and started recording. It didn't take long for the ice to claim its first victim. Let's see what these ladies do. Oh, there goes one. <laughs> the girls notice Alan recording them. One of them is Alan's daughter, but we're not sure which one. They keep playing as a boy in blue walks by and takes a nasty fall. At least the girls are nice enough to see if he's okay. Maybe they should have been warning their fellow classmates. They're gonna fall, they're gonna fall, they're gonna fall. <laughs> She's gonna fall. Oh. <laughs> She's gonna fall. <laughs> oh. 
Our next victim comes with a full head of steam. Even Alan knows he's walking too fast. Okay, we got another kid coming. He's going a little fast. If he turns here, he's going to drill it right about now. <laughs> Alan starts recording again as three boys run toward the ice slick. By then, word has spread about the infamous sidewalk. These guys probably wanted to show off in front of the girls. Apparently, word didn't spread far enough as more people nearly slipped on the ice. <laughs> okay, who's gonna fall here? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, she's not, that, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> the girls clear out, only to be replaced by a group of boys who think they can beat the ice. As you can imagine, they were wrong. <laughs> oh, watch this. Watch this. Oh, boom, boom. <laughs> Alan's daughter gets in the car and both of them enjoy the free show. You'd think if people ahead of you were slipping and sliding, you'd be a little extra careful. Nope, down they go. Our next victim is so cliche that even Alan knows something bad's about to happen. That arm full of books isn't going to stay dry for long. Uh oh, oh no, not good, not good. <laughs> 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 Brittany! Brittany! <laughs> In the end, 16 kids drilled it, as Alan would say. Thankfully, none of them got hurt. Their warm winter clothing likely padded the fall. Alan's video had the internet split. Some people thought it was funny, while others thought it was mean. Some asked what Alan would have done if one of those kids got seriously hurt. Laughter is the best medicine in my book, he said. He was happy to make half the internet smile. If one of those kids got hurt, he would have been the first one out there helping them. The resort town of Les Deux Alpes, France, hosts one of the wildest downhill bike races on Earth. It's called the Mountain of Hell race. The course is on an 11,000-foot snow-capped glacier. Roughly 1,000 racers start at the top, but only the best riders cross the finish line. The 2019 race took place over the last weekend in June. Riders gathered atop the mountain and eagerly awaited the starting horn. Once it blared, all 1,000 of them grabbed their bikes and pedaled as fast as they could toward the top. It didn't take long for all hell to break loose. While it looks really bad, nobody was seriously injured during the pileup. The culprit is this rider right here. He takes out three others as he slides across the mountain. 
This crash set off a massive chain reaction that easily took out a hundred bikers. Congratulations to Killian Braun for winning the 2019 race. Apparently, he got to the finish line so fast that there were hardly any fans to greet him. We assume he was among the lucky few who made it down Hell Mountain before everyone else crashed. Palmer is a small city in southern Alaska. It's home to nearly 6,000 people who brave the harsh winter conditions every year. Take this dad, for example. All he wanted to do was give his daughter a new toy. It was one of those big plastic play kitchens, you know, the kind that only fit in the bed of his 4x4. Unfortunately, his steep driveway was covered in ice, making it impossible to get the toy without falling. The running start seemed to work. He just didn't have enough speed. Maybe things will be different if he starts from the neighbor's driveway. Now comes the hard part, getting the toy out. Instead of doing it gracefully, he just tossed it on the ground. He dropped a few drawers, but it's better than losing the whole thing in the street. Maybe next time, he'll salt the driveway before it freezes. Jishi, China is a prefecture-level city in Heilongjiang province. It's home to about 1.5 million people who are used to bitter winters. While falling snowflakes are harmless, clumps of compact ice and snow can cause some serious damage. It was late November of 2023. Jishi had already experienced several days of heavy snowfall. All that snow gathered on the roofs, melted, and turned to ice. Then, gravity took care of the rest. While some were laughing, others weren't so happy. All that damage is due to falling chunks of ice and hard snow. It was hard enough to rip down awnings and destroy signs. Now, falling icicles are no joke. If they detach from high enough, they can pick up speed and cause serious injuries, even broken bones. They can even be sharp enough to penetrate your skin and blunt enough to give you a concussion. Lake Winnebago is a shallow body of water in central Wisconsin. It covers an area roughly 30 miles long by 10 miles wide, making it the largest lake in the state. However, the water is shallow enough that it completely freezes over in the winter. It's not uncommon to see thousands of cars parked on the lake during ice fishing season. Now, the locals know which areas are safe and which to avoid. We can't say the same for out-of-town ice fishers. One man learned that lesson the hard way after driving over a weak patch of ice. Yeah, don't let any car or truck come in right in there because that's all busted. You're gonna. Right. That's the idea. Right. Um. You don't see that too often. Actually, hey, you know what's gonna happen? You guys don't get a suit. She's starting to fill with water. She's gonna go right down. 
According to a local rescue team, the area where the truck sank was marked unsafe to drive on. A crack had formed before the driver arrived, so local fishing clubs used Christmas trees to warn others to stay away. This out-of-towner didn't know what the trees meant and kept going. Maybe next time, they'll use a sign that says, keep off, unsafe. He may have felt better knowing his truck was the 13th vehicle towed out of the frozen lake that season. Police decided not to issue a citation. The water damage and humiliation were bad enough. Have you ever just had one of those days? No matter how hard you try, nothing seems to go your way. Everyone tells you to get up when you fall down, but you can only fall so many times before it really hurts. This young Ukrainian girl learned that lesson when she encountered a patch of black ice on a steep sidewalk. She's either the clumsiest person on earth or the most determined. You be the judge. Two men ride down the sidewalk like snowboarders. That's when our friend in the purple backpack tries to make her way up. Unfortunately, she can't even make it onto the concrete. She falls five times before a friendly man helps her. She stumbles again, makes it a few more feet, and then slides back down. Mr. Friendly clearly has places to be, so he leaves the poor thing to suffer. One woman just straight up ignores her. Our friend resorts to crawling when walking won't work. She makes it further than any other attempt, but it doesn't last long. She eventually gives up and slides off the right side of the screen. Hopefully, she found a less slippery way home. It gets extremely cold in some parts of northern China. Take Changchun City, for example. The capital of Jilin province is home to about 9 million people. All of them are used to brutal winters, freezing conditions, and ice-covered streets. It was so cold in mid-November of 2020 that some people couldn't even get into their cars. The handles were frozen stiff, and there were thin sheets of ice covering all their windows. One guy even resorted to using a blowtorch to thaw his car. <sighs> Now, we're not sure if that tree is frozen to their car or sticking out of their back window, and we assume our blowtorch friend was able to get into his vehicle. Was it the safest idea? No. Did it work? Probably. So why do your car doors freeze shut during the winter? Well, tiny bits of water and moisture will find their way into the mechanisms and rubber seals. It freezes, and the ice binds everything together. No matter how hard you pull, you'll never get it open until it thaws. Metal also contracts in cold weather. This can make those gaps larger, allowing more water to get in and freeze. Now, people slipping and falling on ice will always be funny. Take these two girls from Oklahoma City. We're guessing their parents forgot to salt the driveway. It was trash day in OKC. These two were responsible for getting the bins from the bottom of the driveway. Going down a slippery surface is the easy part. Getting back up is the real challenge. The younger of the two gets stuck on an invisible patch and can't free herself. Meanwhile, her sister walks by without issue, laughing the whole way. Now, you have to appreciate this girl's determination. She keeps fighting even though she's basically running on a slippery treadmill. She takes a spill, laughs it off, and gets back up. And we're thinking her sister is off camera trying to direct her toward a better path. She eventually walks to the side and uses the snow to her advantage. 
Footwear makes a world of difference when it comes to slipping on ice. The older sister's shoes have better traction. The younger girl's sneakers doomed her from the start. There is nobody more efficient than dads on trash day. They pile all the garbage, swap all the bags, and make one trip to the street. But even dads can't predict when the stairs will foil their trash plans. This dad was teaching his son the finer mechanics of Trash Day in early February of 2023. His back steps had other ideas. You can tell his father's in pain, but he's not about to look weak in front of his wife and son. Ironically, he went inside and put an ice pack on his tailbone. The man's son learned two valuable life lessons that day. Always check the stairs for ice, and don't wear flip-flops to take the trash out. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.